Should we give everyone an update? Hi, Rongs. He ate. We gave him his antibiotics. Oh, hi. Good morning. <laughs> Cooking some breakfast, bagels, then their sausage. This is the last piece left. Unfortunately, it's kind of in shambles, but it's okay, it'll still taste good. I'm going on an adventure by myself. I'm so used to traveling or even if it's like going anywhere, going with Edwin, which is not a big deal, but it's just been ever since I moved here, like I just don't know the area, you know? So I've been here for a few years now, more than a few years, probably about three. Oh, I can't remember how it's been it's been f quite a few years but anyways um I don't know the areas as well as I should because I'm so used to just following Edwin so today I am taking a drive down by myself to grab some coffee from Coffee Holics, which is one of our favorite it's like our newest favorite coffee spot so that's what I'm gonna do it's kind of a drive it's about like 20 plus I think like 23 ish miles from where we are but there's nothing better to do on a Sunday, so why not? Bronx, I'm home. I think he's oh, looking you know that? that one, and then there's the Edwin's gonna cook dim sum or dim sum style. So Thai shrimp gyoza, which we got yesterday, yeah, one of each, and then the soup dumpling. This one is the pork and ginger soup dumpling, and then we have the chicken shumai. You want treat? Look at his face. You want a treat? Okay, wait there. Wait. Boy. You think you want a treat? You want a treat? Yeah. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. France, bon te. Go ahead. France, bogo, bogo. Bogo. Okay, I'll give you some privacy, okay? He doesn't want to be filmed, he said. So this is what I went down to Columbia City to get. It is their signature drink with ube drizzle and then the cheese foam on top is delicious. I just made Bronx's food and uh, in the air fryer, I put a little bit of sauce on it to give it some flavor. Homemade sauce. You guys would not believe how amazing it turned out. I burnt it. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> There's no way I can salvage this. I'm gonna have to throw these out and then cook him a new batch. Frank said, what do you think about mom's cooking? What do you think? It's not too bad, right? It's actually really good. I just messed this one up. Yesterday, I went blueberry picking with one of my girlfriends and it was, uh, obviously I said I went blueberry picking. So it was a you pick farm uh, and I got a whole carton of blueberries and this cost me, thankfully this cost me 
only about $12. It was less than, it was $12 and something cents. I saw a lot of cars there, so I was kind of worried, like, how are we, are we going to social distance? But, um, yeah, thankfully, they spread us all apart. There were different, um, just tons and tons of aisles of blueberry trees is that what you call them or blueberry plants and um and yeah and we just picked plenty batter is all ready and then now i just have to add the blueberries i literally just took these out of the oven and they're still hot but it looks so good Well, Bronx wasn't feeling well, and so he's been like, I feel bad for the kid because he had diarrhea on Wednesday, I know. Um, I took off of work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, thankfully, because Wednesday night, um, he had diarrhea, so at 12... 20 a.m. like he wanted to go out right and Bron I mean Edwin had to work the next day so I was like okay fine I'll just suck it up and go out and take him out because I'm scared of just like I mean we live in a in a nice area so we don't really have to worry but I get scared of just who knows what um and like you just never know plus there have been cougar sightings which scare the crap out of me so anyways we did that he had diarrhea I think two times yeah the first time then he wanted to go out again at like 2 a.m. So I was like, oh, well, do we really have to? So I tried to get him to go on the balcony. He didn't go. So then, and he like, he really wants to go outside. Um, so then I was like, okay, fine. So I took him outside. And then the n next, you know, a couple hours later, it's like the morning, you know. So then he ended up doing diarrhea, I think like four more times that day. Um, and he threw up in the morning also. And then like the next day he threw up and had diarrhea. And it's just like, anyways. So today he was acting kind of funny. Like he threw up, I think two, three times. And then he started breathing kind of funny. And then like, you know, Edwin and I don't want to mess with like breathing. Um, sometimes he gets an upset stomach and he'll have diarrhea. That's fine. But, and then sometimes he'll throw up when he doesn't have food in his system. It was just like his throw up was just clear. Or sometimes it was like yellow when, and I think that's like the bile from his stomach acid. But then he started breathing really funny and we know French Bulldogs breathe funny. This was like different. So then we just decided to take him to the emergency, is it called emergency room? So we dropped him off about an hour, almost an hour ago. And I cried oh, when they don't let people come in. Cause like Bronx, he's such like a sweetheart and he, I don't know he's just like he's just way too sweet and too naive to even know what the heck is going on i think because i know how much he loves edwin i know he'll feel kind of uncomfortable because he's by himself they called us like once they started taking his vitals said everything looks pretty normal they're still like working on getting the rest of his vitals but the one thing that was kind of low was his oxygen levels she also had to have me explain to her because she's like the way he's breathing right now is pretty normal for french bulldogs like what makes it abnormal for you guys he does not snort every single time he takes a breath but this time around he literally took a breath every like one second two second and it was just one like short breath and every time he did that he would snort and you can just tell like he was just having trouble breathing what she recommended was that obviously the vitals were just a given but then on top of that doing blood work and then doing the x-rays she said that will give us like the most information and then she said if you don't want to spend that money the 900 dollars approximately that it will come out to the other option is to do um just the vitals and then they would send us home with antibiotics but she was saying how we would be basically blindly treating him not knowing what's really wrong with him so we just had to go with the x-rays and the blood work because we would rather be safe than sorry i have about another hour to kill and i wanted to make cookies um but i have to wait for the butter to soften up before so in the meantime i'm just gonna be i don't know i have to distract myself somehow because yeah otherwise i'll go crazy but i don't know hopefully they give us a call soon 
we're coming up on that one hour mark they said two hours so i don't know but i'll be happy when i get to go pick him up and he gets to come back home hopefully there is nothing wrong with him or nothing too serious that they can't treat so that's what we're dealing with right now all right we got the phone call just a couple of stuff but he's pretty much ready to go we'll have to go pick him up yeah 30 minutes she said give her 30 minutes but it'll take us about 15 minutes to get there so we'll just wait um i think there were just like a couple of things one something with his liver um values being a lot higher and she said it could be one of two things either he got into like toxins or something like that or two he's just dehydrated which i think we think is number two because he hasn't drank a single drop of water this morning or today this whole day and right now it's 6 31 so i think the last time he drank water was last night um so that's most likely the issue and then there are something else where they think that he has some kind of obstruction in his intestine you think he has to go poo she saw something in the stomach but we think it's because he he did eat a little bit last night and he hasn't used a bathroom yet but the other thing is, I can only imagine how Bronx is when they're trying to take the x-ray of him. <laughs> oh man. She was saying how um, Bronx... Huh? She said he's a wiggly man. Yeah, she was saying how he's a wiggly man. Um, and he was just wiggling when they were trying to put him down for an x-ray. Which I can just imagine. And so she said, you know, the pictures are kind of blurry and she wasn't like... She was basically telling us stuff like, take it with a grain of salt, but that was the other thing and uh if we wanted really good x-rays and we you know and there was like an actual serious thing then we would have to sedate him but thankfully it's not the case right now um we're they're giving him i are they giving him ivs Okay, so they're giving him some fluids under the skin, I remember now, and um, and they'll send us home with some anti-nausea medicine. I should have asked if he's breathing better though, or we're gonna go pick him up and we're just super excited. Guess who's back and he's eating treats now. He's feeling a little bit better? Yeah. Good boy. Are you, are you feeling better? Yeah. He has a huge, you can't see it now, but this camel hump, it's worse when he's sitting down um, full of fluids, but... Bronx! Yay, we're happy you're home. Are you happy? <laughs> Found it. Oh, there he goes, there he goes. <laughs> Just made the chocolate chip batter. I'm gonna wait to put the walnuts in because I'm allergic to walnuts. So I'll save that one for Edwin, but I'm gonna make uh, several cookies of the chocolate chips without the walnuts and then I'll put those in here. Here's how they turned out. Oh man. Sad little things, or big things should I say. It's half a pound of butter, which is equivalent to two sticks. I put in four sticks. I put in two extra sticks. Uh, yeah. Should we give everyone an update? Hi, Bronx. He ate. We gave him his antibiotics. He chewed his bully stick over there. And now he is getting some rest. I think it's about time that he goes to sleep, though, for the night. Right, Bronx? Right? He's tired. You feeling better? He's feeling much better. Thankfully. It's okay. It's breathing a little bit hard. Today was a long, emotional, hard, exhausting day. So we are going to call it a night and we'll see you next time. Bye.